everybody, this is Doc Brown's Radio Lab coming at you with another fire alarm video. Before I get started, I would like to give a very well-deserved shout-out to my friend Ryan, also known as MSJ191961 on YouTube. As some of you may know, he did a Simplex 4010 panel double giveaway, and I had won his old Simplex 4010, which you see here in front of you. I have taken the door off of my, my old 4010, which is up on the wall behind you, and I have swapped the doors because this door is in much better shape and this 4010 is in better shape than my, my old 4010 because it has the dress panel and the cabinet's in a little bit better condition so I kind of wanted to make a good one out of the two. But he actually came over because he only lives about 30 to 40 minutes away from me and it was a lot easier to be able to bring this stuff to me with uh, to save on shipping, you know, just drive it over. So he did that. I got to meet him. He's a very nice person. It's good to know someone else in the fire alarm collecting community. So I have got the Simplex 4010 from him, which I am very thankful for. I also received a 4099 pull station, which is the one you see in front of you there. I also got a Simplex True Alert, because it is my, I've never had a True Alert before, so it's nice to finally have one. And I also got a couple other goodies, such as a wheel lock. What is the model of it? It is a CH-CF1 uh, chime, and I always kind of wanted one of those because uh, I never had a chime before because those are a lot quieter of devices to use around the house. And I also got a uh, Simplex 4603, I believe the model is, uh, Annunciator for a 4100 or a 4020 panel because I actually know a Simplex technician and I'm supposed to be getting a Simplex 4020 along with a couple other panels. 2001 as well, believe it or not, so that's going to be pretty exciting. So I have an enunciator that uh, the membrane keys supposedly don't work on it, so maybe if I can fix that. If not, it's still useful as a remote yeah, a remote indica indication enunciator without being able to actually push the membrane keys, but hopefully that'll be another project in the future. And I also offered to repair his old 4005 power distribution board and power supply. As some of you know, um, he broke his power distribution board when trying to, um, what was he trying to do? Uh, he was trying to, oh yeah, he was trying to replace the membrane keys on his 4005 and he had to remove the, the uh, CPU connector and the connector broke. So that connector is a couple of cents online. I'm going to order a connector for him and replace that part so that he can have a functional power distribution board. As well as the power supply, as you know, uh, has a ground fault on it. So that's another thing that I'm going to take a look at and see if I can find the shorted component and replace it and have another spare 4005 power supply for him. And that's really all I have to say for the time being. Uh, for, the, for this test, we, as I stated, I have the 4099 pull station. I have a 2903 light plate with just the light connected for a uh, visual signal. And I have the Simplex True Alert. Uh, the NAC is set to do uh, True Alert Smart Sync. Uh, doing temporal coding and the uh, horn, or the, excuse me, the strobe is set on 15 candela. So with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and give it a pull. So here we go. Three, two, one. If you have epilepsy or any other visual uh, issues, please do not watch this if flashing strobe lights bother you. Here we go. has been silenced. As you can see we're doing audible silence on the true alert with two wires because it is smart sync and the uh, 2903 light plate continues to go there on NAC1. Okay so now we can go ahead and we can reset the pull station.
hard to do it one handed sometimes. There we go. Full station has been reset. So now we can do a system reset on the panel. Maybe I can, let me see the camera here, I can get you a little closer to that panel. I don't know how much you'll be able to see on there. M11 is the device that's been activated. We'll go ahead and do a system reset. System reset in progress. And there we go. System reset complete. No alarms present. Store preview screen. Press any key. And there we go. I forgot to mention the only two troubles on this panel are the time and date and the uh, battery trouble. So now I guess while I got the camera going, I'll give you a quick overview of the inside of the panel. I'll go ahead and take the dress panel off. And there's the inside of the panel. We have a board, we have a DAC card that's not hooked up. And uh, everything is a standard Simplex 4010 inside here. So we'll go ahead and put the dress panel back on and close it up. Make sure she's on there. Okay. And now I'm just trying to think. Um, you know what else I could do actually real quick is... Uh, I guess I could put it in the walk test. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll go ahead and do a walk test. Log into level three. Walk test. We'll do an audible walk test. Go, panel is in walk test. Walk test active in system. So real quick, we only have one device connected, but I figured you'd want to see how these newer simplex panel, eh, excuse me, simplex panels perform during a walk test. So I'll activate the pull station the first time, and it should do the uh, pulse out the address over the Mac. Now it is in smart sync, so I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we will see. There we go, so it pulsed out the address. Now we'll go ahead and activate it again, and it should do two quick pulses. So that basically tells you that you've already activated that device before. That's how walk test works. Okay, now to end the video, we'll come back over to the panel. And I will take the system out of walk test. So we have to go back in walk test, turn that off, and now it's going to do a system reset. Okay, walk test is updated and now we're back to normal. We'll, we'll log out here real quick, even though we don't really have to, but there we go. All right, now one more thing I did forget to mention was that I also gave a couple devices to Ryan as well in exchange for the device that he gave me. I gave him a couple conventional simplex true alarms as well as a uh, couple of new inbox uh, spectral and advanced devices that he's either probably going to keep for himself or do a giveaway with those so that might be kind of fun to do in the future so yeah i hope everyone enjoyed this video this is just a quick video to give a shout out to him and give a quick demonstration of this new 4010 as well as uh, a first test of a simplex true alert on this channel so i really hope that you enjoy and as always thank you very much for watching 
and please consider subscribing to Ryan's channel, and if you wish, you can subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more Fire Alarm related content and electronics related content to come. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a great day, everyone.